uh, let's move on to focus now. And today we're heading to the Indian Ocean island of Mayotte which has been a Department of France for five years. According to Prime Minister Manuel Valls, the biggest problems there are crime and illegal immigration. Many locals say the two issues are linked and some foreigners have been forcibly evicted from their homes. The government deciding recently to step up security. Gael Borgia and Josh Vardy report. Welcome to Mayotte, a French overseas department located near Madagascar, 8,000 kilometers from Paris. The sights and sounds are typically African, yet this small island has been French since 1841. Nicknamed the Island of Perfumes, Mayotte is one of the four islands forming the Comoros Archipelago that used to be a French colony. But 1974 was a turning point. The people of Mayotte voted to remain a part of France. The other three islands chose to become the independent state of Comoros. Ever since then, there's been a widening discrepancy in living standards between the Comoros, one of the world's poorest countries, and Mayotte, a piece of France with higher wages, better health services, and proving very attractive to poor Comoroans and mainland Africans. Today, one in every four person in Mayotte has entered the island illegally. There are loads of us refugees here from all over, Rwandans, Burundians. There are a lot of us Burundians here due to diplomatic problems in our country. I earn six euros a day. I sell this. Tolerated until recently, illegal immigrants are now being blamed by many locals for the rise in violence and theft, with figures skyrocketing throughout the island. Some of the locals want illegal immigrants out of their island and have decided to act upon it, forcing settlers out of their homes. With a hidden camera, we were able to film such a scene. Under the passive eye of the police, men, women and children comb through the village and pressure illegal immigrants to leave. Several hundred people who've been kicked out of their neighbourhood are now living in what resembles a refugee camp, right in the middle of Mayotte's main city, Mamoudzou. We're in a country where there's a high rate of youth crime, where it's unsafe, there's a lot of fiscal pressure, with new property taxes about to be implemented. So considering this situation, there had to be a scapegoat. And this scapegoat is the Comorian people. Meanwhile, schools haven't been spared by these tensions and are another symbol of Mayotte's failures. 8,000 babies are born in Mayotte every year. To keep up with the pace, France would have to build one new classroom every day. Today we're allowed to film a striking example of Mayotte's overcrowded schools, the Yunusa Bamana High School. A group of students have just entered the premises chased by a youth gang. Policemen in full riot gear think one or several of the gang members may have made their way inside the school. They find a group of teenagers in one of the classrooms. A 15-year-old intruder is finally arrested. To better understand the youth delinquency plaguing Mayotte, this rough figure, three to seven thousand minors are living in Mayotte on their own. Born here, they're French, but their parents were deported back to the Comoros. An NGO is trying to provide these children and teenagers with an education. One of their classrooms is here in Kewaini, a place labelled Mayotte's most dangerous slum. You underline the qualifying adjective in the other sentence. Some come from far away and get up really early in the morning to be here, so they must like it. They are always as hungry for knowledge. Later in the day, we meet a group of citizens carrying out a night watch. Mayotte has the highest theft rates in France. Armed with batons and whistles, they're trying to deter robbers and youth gangs from entering their neighborhood. 
We're not going to wait for the state to get the job done. I don't know what the state is doing, but it's not doing much. <laughs> when taxpayers' money is not properly used for the common interest, that's what I call a dysfunctional situation. There's a word for that. It's corruption. Raoul Moivili was city councillor from 2008 to 2014. We ask him what he believes is at the source of Mayotte's many problems. The heart of the problem is illegal immigration. The police force are completely overwhelmed. You just need to see the amount of people coming here every day, at least a hundred every day, coming on their boats. They are the problem in Mayotte. To ease tensions, the French government has just reinforced policing measures against crime and illegal immigration. But that might not be enough to calm the anger of those who feel like second-class citizens of the French Republic.